So, you might be thinking to yourself, dang, didn't I just see him upload a video of him getting this dark aether? And yeah, you'd be right. I did get a dark aether. You can even see it right here in my, my showcase weapon that it is dark aether. But if we were to go over to the weapon, go to the appearance, go to the camo, it says I only have 70 kills with it. For whatever reason, my camo progress has gotten reset on this. This is like the second time it's happened. It happened with the iron hide like 410 last time so i don't know what's going on here but we have to get this thing done again i'd be damned if i'm gonna let it sit there and not be dark aether so let's go ahead and create a build for it we're doing cobra red dot kgb eliminator we're going with the task force barrel ember sighting point bruiser grip no mag i don't like the explosive rounds in this and zombies we're gonna go with the speed tape and i think we'll go with the skeletal stock today and should i just take dark aether off till we can re-equip it i think i should remove and last time we did this, we did it on Firebase Z. So I think we should switch it up and do it on Mauer today. So let's hop in and get this thing done again. Also, somebody left a comment saying I shouldn't call the gun the uh, and instead I should use the uh, sound effect. So that's what I'm doing. All right, here we are on Mauer getting this thing done for a second time. And last time it felt like it took a while. Like I, I got the gun done in like almost two hours is what it what it took to record the whole thing and normally it takes about like an hour and 10 minutes and i saw somebody say oh it, it seems like it's taken so long since you've got it from like no camos to all camos which you know normally that i mean that could be true but i have gotten a lot of weapons done from no camos to all camos before and i don't think it's ever taken that long something felt off about this gun so I, i'm glad i get another opportunity to try it again and we still have to get this done on our playstation account as well so i think that's probably the one that we're gonna stream once we're feeling better also probably noticing no face cam again still sick i definitely feel like a lot better but i'm, I'm kind of enjoying the no face cam it's a, it makes me a lot less anxious to record not being on camera so i'm gonna soak that up while i can let's open this up and head on down but what are your guys thoughts on this gun now that it's been out for a few days have you been using it in zombies been using it in multiplayer i think it's a better in multiplayer than it is in zombies personally i don't know what do you guys think are you rocking with a new gun there we go got our corrosion camo back and our gun runner and we're absolutely decimating these crits right now any more zombies around oh yeah right here Sleep. where's the rest of you there we go perfect let's pop this open grab our loose change from here open this as well and hop on down tempest are you over here you gonna spawn over here or are you spawning in the bar looks like the bar oh tempest where are you buddy oh loose change while we're looking for him little bonus points as well and here's our tempest Goodbye. I gotta say this purple tier upgrade from doing the main quest is actually really nice. Everyone was shitting on that that super Easter egg. You know, I was as well. Everyone thought that we're gonna get like a much better reward, but this is still not bad. This is this is pretty good for when you're going to grind some camos. Speaking of which, I need to do the Mauer Easter egg soon on the PlayStation account. I think that's probably the next one we're gonna do. And I think that's the one that's uh, voted top comment RM. Let's head down here, open this up, make a mad dash across the track. So I'm not trying to get hit. And then we'll grab the loose change. They got the zombies that come flying out. Oh, insta-kill. A, a thing I saw, I, I didn't personally see it when I was playing, but I saw people talking about it on Twitter, is that this gun, when you have the explosive rounds with insta-kill, it is impossible to get critical kills with it. Because the explosion goes off before I think the needle actually hits. So people were getting kills before the, the bullet would even like pierce the, the head. So it was absolutely impossible to get insta-kill that's why i say insta-kill in cold war is not the greatest insta-kill is probably you're worse off getting it than just leaving it unless you're like in a tough situation because you can't get your field upgrade up you it's a lot harder to get crits especially if you're using ammo mods and things like that i, I just feel like insta-kill is not that worth it here in cold war all right let's find that tempest where you at big fella there he is Go ahead, get fix that posture for me. Thank you. Oh, a little max ammo. But I just don't understand how camos can get reset in this game. Like, what's happening there? It gave me 70 kills. So at some point within that game, it just decided like, yeah, we're not tracking your progress anymore. But when I got out of that game, I could apply Dark Aether and everything. So was there like a server rollback? And I just so happen to be playing during it. Because I think I'm usually one of the first people to get Dark Aether on the weapons. Like, I get it the day of, like, when the when the weapon comes out. I'm definitely not the first person, but I'm, like, I don't know, top something. So I wonder if those people also get rolled back. Like, I haven't, I haven't seen anything like that. Like, maybe there was a bug with the weapon when it first launched that they're keeping under wraps or something. I got no idea what's going on. What I do know is all these zombies about to be crit farms for me. Get out of here, go to sleep. Go to bed. But did any of you guys have your camo progress reset on your weapon while still having like that camo equipped? 
Like, maybe there's another camo bug. Like, I know there's a thing in Vanguard where if, like, you hover over the camos and, you know, hit, like, the Konami code or something, you could just put on, like, Atomic or, like, Dark Aether real early into the game, like, before anybody could even have them unlocked. So maybe there's something like that in Cold War and they're resetting it or something. I don't know. I just think it's bullshit that I spent, like, two hours grinding camos. And they're like, yeah, guess what? We're taking those back. Thanks. So if this happens again, I'm gonna have a fit. All right, Disciple, you can die now. Thanks. Thanks for joining us, but you can leave later. See you, pal. And now Pack-A-Punch is ready to go. So let's go ahead and get Pack-A-Punch. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw on Cryo Freeze while we're at it. And this is what the <laughs> looks like with Pack-A-Punch 1 here on Mauer. It actually looks really good. The Mauer Pack-A-Punch camos, some of the best in this game. Some of the best of all, like, all time, I think. Especially Pack 1. Just the red accent with the Slurp Juice looking pack a punch camo looks great let's go ahead and dig this up let me find some armor oh insta kill great oh there's klaus's dish armor please armor no i just don't want to buy the first tier of armor because every time i do i feel like armor immediately drops after and it's just a waste come on i know you want to give me armor game you're dying to nope right here though maybe not here Nope, we're getting some scrap though. That's a lot of zombies. No armor there. I'm not gonna leave all the scrap behind though. I'm not here. Also, can I just say that they, these auto turrets here? The most useless thing. Look, you can stand right here. I'm standing in the spotlight and it's not even doing anything. And when it, it is there, it's like not even a threat. Look, do something. There it is. You have so much time to just walk away from it. I'm not saying that it should be more difficult, but why is it even here? And as a trap, I feel like even at this round, it's not going to kill that many zombies. Like, traps in Cold War are useless. So useless. And another thing, if it's an auto turret, why do I have to pay for it to kill zombies? If something steps into that light, it should be shot. Like, come on. This thing makes no sense. Zero sense at all. I guess we should probably get some perks. Let's get Speed Cola so we can reload faster and get our fuel upgrade faster, even though we haven't used it yet today. We will get Mule Kick so we can keep having ammo at our disposal. I guess we're chilling now. At least now we can get a little retribution for last time and not go down as much, hopefully. Maybe we'll actually be able to turn on the Rampage Inducer. This map gets kind of scary with the Rampage Inducer because Disciples are annoying as hell and they're not going to be at level with any of the zombies you're shooting at, so you're not going to get a crit on them. And they'll sit there and just life steal you. Panzers, light you on fire and just hit you stupid hard. And then once you hit round 25, Mangler starts showing up. And that's not fun for anybody. There's our Glacier camo again. I guess we'll grab Deadshot. Get that crit bonus. A little extra hip fire or hip fire accuracy. I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and buy armor. Unless this Panzer drops armor. Panzer, you wanna drop armor for me, pal? Come on. Ooh, this actually does nice damage against him. Okay, it only dropped a battery, dickhead. Let's just use these double points so we have the opportunity. Get our shmoney up, not our funny up. There's our amphibian camo, 250 crits. All right, I'm biting the bullet. I'm buying armor unless you have any. Nope. All right, there's our armor. Let's get level two. Can't quite get level three, but I'm fine with that for now. I'm pretty sure this might be the last gun we're getting here in Cold War. I think we have the scythe. The scythe. The scythe. My English has just deteriorated, but the scythe has been leaked for a long time to be coming out in Cold War. It's already in the files. I'm pretty sure we're getting one more melee weapon, but I think that might be the last thing we get here. I think they might be switching their focus all the way over towards their next like Treyarch game coming out in 2024. So it's a little sad to see an end of an era over here. And I'm glad I have a second account to at least get like a little more weapons in this game done. Experience the game for a little longer. But it kind of sucks. Like this was my first real zombies experience. Like I played a little bit of Black Ops 1 back in the day. I never really got too into it. I didn't have like the patience or play COD enough to try and play zombies that much. So that's why we've been going back and playing the classic games. Also, a little side note while I'm talking about it. Uh, I have not played their next BO3 map because I was waiting until I wasn't sick. That way I can get like face cam reactions to the map that I haven't played before. And then Grod Covey's next. So uh, apologies for the delays on that. I think I might just end up doing it in the next day or two, regardless of how I'm feeling. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just sad that this game's kind of coming to an end. I really love this game. You know, it really got me into the zombies series as a whole, the zombies community. And I'm grateful for that. But it's gonna suck not having a like a new zombies game until 2024. That being said, I will be playing the uh, new modern warfare, hopefully. Last time I said something good about uh, a game like that hadn't released yet. Like I said, I don't I don't see any reason why I don't like Vanguard. I ended up not playing it. I literally haven't played Vanguard in months. So hopefully Modern Warfare ends up being good. And that's something I can use to waste my time for a while. With that being said, though, 
I will still come back and I will play Cold War. We'll do like Cold War challenges and stuff like that. We'll be playing the older zombies games. Since I'm almost done with BO3, we can go through and do custom maps. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So just for those of you that are a little curious at what we're going to do in that off year, off two years uh, without a Treyarch zombies game, uh, that's basically my plan at the moment. I still have not used this ring of fire. I really have not needed to. Let's use it now. Might as well break it in. There's our glitch camo, making our way up on the jackrabbit chain. There's our bravado camo. We got six special or elites killed already. This map's real good for those. Because getting the two tempests just to turn on power is already two. And then you have a guaranteed disciple. Oh, there's the armor. Plus, you'll get a panzer. Guaranteed on like what, round eight or something? Or however many rounds after you turn on like pack a punch. And then you get a guaranteed mangler on 25. Not a bad map for special or elites. But it also doesn't overwhelm you. And then we'll get stamina up, and I think we're good to go. Maybe we try down in power room. I haven't grinded down there in a long time. So let's try that out. Hopefully I don't die. Reason why I don't really use that area. Oh, we have a torment to run anyways. But the reason why I don't normally use that area is just because I get absolutely messed up down there. I'm always up by the wonder fizz. I feel like it's a lot easier and you get like an easy escape plan. Here, even if you like, you know, you can't survive. Like if you run out of ammo or something, something crazy is happening. It's a lot harder to get out of here. You got to train your way out, which can get tough in the, a little area like this. Let's try this. Pop the ring of fire and then we'll just sweep these guys. Quick little double points. Help us get to our next pack a punch tier a little faster. There are degeneration camo, 250 kills this wall packed. There's just so many angles you got to watch here. And by so many, I mean three. Normally with grinding spots, I'm just looking down one way and if I get overwhelmed, I'm out. This gun's doing well so far. There's our conviction camo. We're all done with our jackrabbits. Don't got to worry about getting hit anymore. Not that I was worried. I'm a gamer. Now let's just ring a fire. We're also not doing too bad on crits. 415 out of 453 possible. We're doing very good. Oh, and we have enough to get packed too. I'll grab it after this round. Oh, we just have one crawler left. All right, pal. I'll see you later. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm gonna go get pack punch too. Yeah. First, let's see if we can upgrade our armor. We can. Let's get armor level three. And now we're just saving up to get this thing gold. Let's grab pack two. This is what pack a punch two looks like on the... <laughs> Pretty nice. Not a big fan of pack a bunch two on this map. I mean, not as big of a fan as I am of pack one, but it's still not bad. It's still pretty good looking. I like the texture on it. The nice honeycomb pattern. Oh, look who grew their legs and changed out of clothes. What's going on, zombie? It still has that same like slurp juice looking camo, except it's it's that teal blue, not teal. I don't know colors. Let me just throw a stone accidentally. But it's basically the same thing in the middle, except there's green as a secondary color and I think black. Not a bad looking camo, nonetheless. It's not my favorite. Now we're back to the yield grind. Oh, uh, we got a Panzer coming. Guess what, Panzer? Got a ring of fire with your name on it. And it's already sleep. Ring of fire is so good. There's like hardly any reason to use any other field upgrade. And a lot of the other field upgrades are pretty good. Besides energy mine. Don't think I'm talking about you, energy mine. Piece of shit. But like every other field upgrade is like serviceable. It's just ring of fire having unlimited ammo basically shooting from your stock plus the boosted damage from being within it plus it has a chance to insta kill anything that it touches and it does fire damage to any opponent that walks in it that doesn't instantly die it's just so good i think my favorite in this game is toxic growth toxic growth is a lot of fun it's like plants for zombies which I, I i started playing a lot of when i got sick i was just playing that on my phone also been playing a lot of uh pokemon light platinum it's like a rom hack of like Pokemon Leaf Green with Pokemon all the way up till Platinum, like the Sinnoh. Maybe even past that. I think maybe it goes to Black and White. But I recently got a, a modded DS that had that on there. So I've been playing that a lot. So I play while I'm like rendering videos or if I'm like laying in bed or something. It's been a good time. I wonder how long I can just run in a circle in here. Probably for a bit. Training in Cold War is just not hard. I'm going to say that and then go down. So why don't I just shut my mouth and play? Let's try this actually. Eat a stun. The thing I don't like about stuns is it doesn't really capture every zombie. Where decoys, all the zombies should go to it if it goes to like plan. If it works how it should. But decoys are just so damn buggy that they just disappear or zombies will ignore them. I just want some sort of in-between of just stupid OP tactical. Let's stun them again. And then it's Headshot City. This is our grudge camo, 750 kills. Hopefully that camo sticks. So I don't want to do this for a third time on the same account. 
I'm gonna freak out. Oh, we have enough to get pack three. Let's just go grab that real quick. All right, this is what pack three looks like on the... Ugh. Looks pretty nice. Uh, I really like the gold accent on this gun. The thing I don't like is this color of like main weapon. I like the, the nice purple and the blues are very nice. Really good looking camo until it turns to like the, the yellowish like peach with like spots on it. It just does not look good when it's like that. But I fuck with the purple. The purple's clean. Like this right here, clean as hell. All right, let's ring a fire because there seems to be a lot of zombies now. Oh, there's a panzer. Now there's not. And there's a disciple and now there's not. And there's another disciple and now there's not. Ring of fire is just so broken. So busted. Let's grab that double points. Look, disciple gone. Thanks for stopping by so I can get an extra camo progress. And then the rest of you guys, I want you guys to get a little closer so I can stun you. Get all that bonus points from double points and then just sweep them. There's our boundary camo, 750 crits. Let's go. We're still keeping on pace. Our, our normal kills is kind of pulling away a little bit, but we're not too far behind. But one thing I wish they would add to this game, very, very slight. Something I think that not a lot of people would use, but I would for sure, is like a rampage inducer light. Or instead of the zombies and everything getting faster, all you do is speed up the time in between rounds. Because with the rampage inducer, the best part is that the second a round's over, the next one's starting immediately. And if you're grinding camos, that's perfect. Like you save a bunch of time without all the, you know, zombies on crack running like crazy i think they might do extra damage they might get stronger i don't remember i don't know if it's just a speed buff or if it's like an overall buff but it would be nice to have the rounds start faster oh there's our mangler buddy let's go ahead and pop that ring of fire block his shot and is he already dead i didn't even see him die he just disappeared into thin air yep there's manic we're all done and downfall 750 kills while it's packed oh there's another mangler guess what he's sleeping as well oh wait hold on our ring of fire went away midway through me saying that so give me one second let me stun these guys mangler is now sleep it's getting kind of crazy in here let's stun again disciple you can leave anytime nobody wants you here uh oh oh one zombie had me cornered guess what zombie sleep and teabagged oh we got enough to get this thing to gold let's go max out our gun while we can there we go oh that's a lot of zombies hold on guys get stunned pull out the ring of fire on them Grab the double points on them. We're just absolutely decimating. This gun's cranking out on this map. I think we try our luck with the rampage inducer after this round. Maybe we don't stay down here because I don't know how I can fare down here with the rampage inducer, but I'm down to try it at the wonder fizz. That way we have an exit plan. Uh oh, stun, go. I'm going to nade the ground too. Get me out. Thank you. All right. Well, the second I'm talking about using the rampage inducer, I almost died to non rampage inducer zombies down here. Maybe it's time to pack it up. Spring of Fire's doing so much work though. Yeah, two crawlers left. Let's go turn on that Rampage Inducer and go sit by the Wonder Fizz. I always forget to open this back up. And where's our Rampage Inducer? There it is. There we go. Hopefully we can survive now. All right, let's see how we do up here now. Damn, we're not doing bad so far. Knock on wood. Everybody knock on wood right now. This Ring of Fire's really got a carry right now. Another change I think I'd like to see is specifically just for ammo or camo grinding would be with ammo mods in Elemental Pop, being able to pick like, I don't know, Elemental Pop Zero or something where it only like boosts the chance of you using your equipped ammo mod instead of just random ones. And then the just normal Elemental Pop where it does random ammo mods. I like to be able to choose. Because if I could have Elemental Pop on just for like Electric Cherry, you know, being able to get up on higher rounds with Quick Revive without like losing all those crits to like shatter blast and all that, I'd be buying elemental pop every time. Oh, stun time. But unfortunately that's just not how elemental pop works. And I doubt they'd ever add something like that. But it'd be cool. I'm just trying to find ways to be more efficient. Look at this crit farm right here. If you train them up before you climb up and they're all climbing up at the same time, it is just easy crits. I will say another good part about this map is that their dog round? You can get crits on these. I'm like plague hound rounds and hellhound rounds. You can't get crits on those. On tormentors, you can. But I'm just hoping we finish this before round. What did we finish it on last time? 48, 49, something like that. I know it's close to 50. If I can get out of here around 45, I'll be happy. Right now we're at 1,195 crits. Basically need to double that. I think we can do it before then. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. 1,500 kills with that. Oh, uh, we got a Panzer coming. You better get up here fast, Panzer, before this Ring of Fire goes away. Come on. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. I think it's gone. Yeah, there goes our Ring of Fire, and the Panzer's not here yet. Unless we already killed it. Nope. Hello, Panzer. Nice to see you, pal. Enjoy a quick stun. 
What about another one? You seem like you, you wanted another one. Okay, all right, I'm leaving. Oh, and another mangler. Cool. The more the merrier. The more robot zombies with cannons that shoot fire and like, I don't know, plasma, the merrier. I'm also out of armor. No zombie has dropped me armor, unfortunately. So maybe go pick some of that up. That way we don't die. There we go. What's up, Mangler? Thanks for spawning right next to me. All right, now we got a ring of fire. Let's go back up and deal with them there. Probably should have grabbed ammo before going up, but I think we can deal, hopefully. You know what? I'm not risking it. Grab ammo first. Train them for a second. All right, now that they're all relatively in the same area. They're actually so spread out from this Mangler. Manglers just absolutely decimate hordes. They just knock them all over. Now they should be coming up pretty evenly. Go ahead, do the jump. There you go, asshole. Later. And then we can just sit here and spray in this spot and rack up the crits. Our drench camo, 1500 kills while it's packed. I think our pack-a-punch kills have surpassed our crits, which is unfortunate. There's our threshold camo, 1500 crits. So we're at 2,460, we'll be done. Oh, there's our rotten camo, all done with our normal kills. And we're not that far off from crits, and I'm sure pack-a-punch is right behind it. Oh, there's our chemical camo, finally done with all of our pack-a-punch kills. We're still about 300 kills away from getting our crits done. But basically what I've been doing here is just training around the tank until I have ring of fire and once i get ring of fire i head up towards wonder fizz uh and then try to get all the zombies climbing up it's, it's real easy crits just shooting in one spot all their heads will go to the same place when climbing but i think i figured out what's taking this gun so long to get dark aether not only the first time but this time as well is that it's severely underpowered like i can sit here and lay down bullets and i'll get like one to two kills every like mag maybe three if i'm lucky so i i really made a mistake of not having a class with like uh the cavalry lancer barrel something that can do some armor damage because up here in these higher rounds a lot of armored zombies show up so it takes a lot longer to get these kills and i could put on the explosive bullets but i feel like that's just gonna take away from my crits and just knock zombies over instead of you know killing them so this gun is extremely underwhelming and underpowered in these higher rounds and i think that's what really slows it down towards the end that's why we got ring of fire let me show you guys one run of Ring of Fire real quick. Let that zombie jump down. We wait right here for a second. Maybe even take out the Disciple. Do a quick reload and then pop the Ring of Fire. Hit the guys that have already climbed up. And then we aim right about here. And it just cranks out crits. Unless there's Disciples around. All we gotta do... Uh-oh. Not ammo. I'm gonna say all we gotta do is just aim right there. And all the zombies' heads will just climb right up. And then we zip line out. Grab a little ammo. Even though we don't really need it, but... A lot of times I'm low on ammo after that. We gotta come over here, grab armor, rinse and repeat. It's been a long journey. No, we... Oh, that was stupid. It took till round 46 for our first down, and I really could have avoided it. But I just ran into this pole. Like a fucking dunce. Alright, well, I'm gonna use my self-revive. We have to try to get through this round without dying. So without dying, all these zombies really need to go ahead and do me a favor and fuck off. We might have a second or two to grab perks when we climb up here, so let's try it. Let's stun this guy. And I grabbed everything, including elemental, and I'm going down again. That's not good. No self-revive, but I did grab tombstone, which is great. Unless I can electric cherry something here. Or this brain-rotted disciple can die. Yeah, come on. Climb on up. Come here. There's electric cherry. We got it. Now we got to get out of here. So one down gives us two downs, which is pretty cool. Love to see that. Try going over here. Grabbing a self revive. There we go. We're all set in that department. We can go up here. Grab a little quick revive. Let's fly across. Jump on down. Please jump down. Ooh, that almost killed me. Now let's climb back up to the Wonder Fizz. There's always going to be a zombie up here. Let's grab everything back. All right. Then let's ring a fire and try to hold down the rest of this round. I think we're good. I think we're fine. All right, I'm hitting the nuke and I'm dipping so I can go ahead and grab armor now. I don't know if I'm missing any perks. I know last time, or our, in our last game, last time we got this thing Dark Aether, I forgot to buy Jug one of the times, and you guys let me know about that. Like, a lot. I saw so many comments saying that. I did not grab Elemental Pop back on purpose this time. I feel like I've been getting a lot more crits without it. We recovered, though. We did it. We made it. This gun kind of sucks the shit out of an asshole. Like, look how many kills I get from one mag here. I kind of looked away for a second, but still, like, what, three kills, maybe? A full mag? Kind of bogus. Oh, there's Gold Viper. We got it. Was that our final crit? Let's go. All right, so we got this thing Gold Viper twice now. Dark Aether twice. You know what, zombies? Come take me out. Get me out of here. I'm done. Let's just tombstone right away. 
Take me out in the tombstone. Let's teabag our own body. Ooh, the mouth's right on it. <laughs> All right, our final stats, 3,041 illuminations, 2,472 crits, zero vives, and four downs. Okay, now let's make sure we do have our camos for our... Now, yep, there's Gold Viper yet again. I'll be brief with these since we've already done a video on this. Gold Viper, cool. Texture's not loading in. Wait for it. There it is. Gold Viper, cool. Crisp. Like Diamond, also kind of crisp. Dark Aether, crisp as well. Let's go ahead and hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the... <coughs> looks like in game with Dark Aether. Pretty snazzy. Hopefully they'll let me keep it this time. But if I have to do it for a third time, I'm going to be pissed. This is what it looks like. It's actually really, really good. The camo coverage on this is amazing. The fact that the entire mag's covered, except for like the bottom part, it's, I don't know. I just like it a lot. I think this gun looks great aesthetically, but it kind of just sucks hot ass and zombies. Also, Jungle came out. You guys haven't seen our multiplayer video. There's like a snake somewhere on this map and I have no idea where it is. Maybe I'll Google it real quick. It says there's a green anaconda by the river. So let's follow the whole river and let's look for the snake together. So back here, not seeing one. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like in a tree. Not seeing it over here either. Okay, let's follow this little offshoot. Maybe it's over here. Nope. Oh, is this it? Is it right here? I will snake. I will buddy. Can I come up here? No. What's going on, pal? That's pretty cool. A little inspect right next to the snakey. All right, snake. Welcome to COD. Bitch. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's where I'm going to end the video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike. If you're new here, please enjoy subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. Uh, also, please follow my Twitter. I'm trying to, you know, tweet out, come and get like 70 likes. I think that'd be pretty funny. But uh, yeah, uh, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully our camos don't go away. And uh, later.